Hey y'all. So I just want to once again talk about the goodness of the Lord. I mean, I'm I'm just when I tell you, you know, he surprised me again today. I I said this on my Instagram page and I was like, you know, get to know God for yourself and you know, what you think you know, he will even surprise you about, you know, he will, he will even surprise you even after that about how, just how good he is. <clears throat> and, um, so if you guys watch my videos, <laughs> you guys know that I, I struggle, I have struggles, you know, and one in particular is, um, spirit of lust. And, um, um, I mean, it's, it's, it's really bad, you know, and <clears throat> I have no one else to blame but myself because, you know, um, I put myself in situations where, um, sex was, sex turned into an, an idol, you know, and, um, there were consequences and the consequences. I am definitely, uh, going through that right now. And, um, <clears throat> but one thing that surprises me about God is that he's still willing, even after I put myself in situations that are wrong, willingly put myself in situations that are wrong. God is still willing to help get me out of it, you know? And, um, I'm gonna try to get through this video without crying because, um, you know, God is just that good. You know what I'm saying? He is. He really is. And, um. He's just good. But, um, so, you know, just another day where I'm just struggling with sex, having thoughts. And I even was like, you know what? I don't even care anymore. I'm just going to make preparations. I'm going to just try to do what I want to do. Just all these thoughts, you know, just all these rebellious thoughts. But in between the rebellious thoughts, I'm also praying to God. I'm like, God, I need you to intervene. Like, I said, God, you know, I'm. These, these are evil thoughts. Like, you know, I'm also recognizing, you know, just the evilness of what I'm saying and what I'm thinking. And, um, I said to God, I said, God, if you, I said, God, I can't do this without you. I said, I need you to help me. You know, um, I said, because if you don't help me, I'm just going to do what I want to do. I mean, and, and, and it was, and I, I felt so bad saying it. I felt bad saying it because it was just so defiant. You know what I'm saying? It was just so like, just disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do you tell God what you're going to do? And you know, it's wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it, I had to be honest, you know? And so just frustrated with myself and, you know, just, just, just like, you know what, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Just whatever. And I get to class. I get to um, <clears throat> theology class. Yes, I'm in theology school. Ain't that something? This is why you can't judge a book by its cover. This is why you can't say someone is better than the other because of what they do. We all have fallen short of the glory. <clears throat> but um, so I get to class and, you know, I talk to my home, my, my, my brother um, and I asked him, I said, Hey, have you, you know, struggled in this area, you know, sex? And he was like, uh, yeah. And he said, he said, uh, he said, he said, I would plead with God. He, he said, I would cry. And, you know, he said, he, and he said it so much better than what I said to God. He said, he said, God, if you don't help me, I can't help myself. And when he said that, it was just like something hit my heart. And it was almost like I felt understood by God. When when earlier I told him, I said, God, if you don't help me, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to do what I want to do, you know. And although that was so raw and uncut and just disrespectful and all the above, you know, God was able to convey to me what my heart was speaking to him. Like, I need you. Like, I'm literally relying 
on you to get me out of this mess that you told me not to get into. And I'm literally, you know, making plans and efforts to do it. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and so my friend continues to keep going. And he says, you know, I would have my girlfriends. They would come over. And after, and this was this was after his prayer. So he said, so after his prayer, you know, he would have his girlfriends come over once again, going right back to the sin, right? Even after he prayed to God and told him to take away, he went right back to the sin, right back to willingly, you know, and defiantly just disobeying God. And he said it got to a point where his girlfriends would come over. This was after his prayer. His girlfriends would come over and he said, even when I wanted to do it, I couldn't do it. And he said, he said, he said, he said the reason why he couldn't do it was because he couldn't get it up. <laughs> he couldn't get it up. He said, I would try, but I, I couldn't, I, it, 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 I couldn't do it. It wouldn't come up. And I was like, I just was, I felt so like happy and just joyful. And I was just like, oh my gosh. He said, he's, and then he also said, he said, he said, it takes, he said, it takes God to deliver you. And I was like, yes, yes. And I, that just brought me such relief. Cause it's just like, God, I'm trying, like I'm trying, but I'm not trying, but I'm trying, but like, I want to not do this, but I don't have the energy to try to, uh, 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 refrain. You know, like when I say energy, I mean, I don't have the men, I don't have the ment the mental space. Like I don't, I don't have the desire to, 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 to refrain, you know, it's just, I'm like, I'm like a, I'm like a train, you know how the trains, it's hard to stop trains. Like I'm like a train just going, you know, and I need something to like catapult me, like not catapult me, but I need something to just, just stop me. You know what I'm saying? And so when he, when my friend said what he said, he's like, you know, it takes God to deliver you from sin it just reminded me of the gospel it reminded me of jesus it reminded me of the goodness of the lord how how you know god knew before the foundation of the world that we were going to sin he knew we were going to sin and he knew we were going to sin over and over and over again willfully and guess what he still sent his son to die for those who would continue to sin willfully going in that direction i'm talking about myself this is me you know what i'm saying and he sent the answer jesus jesus is the answer he's the answer to to you know uh, to, def to to the, to the defeat of sin he's the answer to to your vic to you wanting victory over your struggles over what you're going through. He's the answer. You know? And and even, even when you don't even know it's a sin. Or even when you don't care if it's sin. God still made a plan to help you. This is why it, it, it's not necessarily about. Oh, you know what? You have to have the desire to. No. Before I had the desire to 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 look towards God and God had already said Nina will belong to me Nina will belong to God Nina will belong to me she belongs to me so even before I even thought of God or even wanted to 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 worship God God spoke a word over my life and he said Nina will belong to me Nina belongs to me and I will draw Nina to me. And I will save Nina from herself. And he's saying that about you. It's a word spoken over the world. He said, the Bible says that he's patient because he wants none to perish. None. He doesn't want any one of us to perish. All we got to do, the only work that we have to do is just believe in Christ Jesus. That's it. That's it. That's it.
And yes, I'm so glad that God loved me enough to be patient and merciful to me because he didn't have to. He doesn't have to. There's so many examples. There's so many examples in the word where God was much worse to people who sinned. And guess what? I did the same things that they did. And I'm still here. I'm still standing. Because he decided to show mercy on my life. I'm grateful. You know, I'm grateful. I'm so grateful. It just reminds me of um, the tax collector and how, you know, he knew he wasn't even worthy to look up. He looked away and he was like, and he beat on his chest and he was like, Lord, have mercy on my soul. I identify with the tax collector because there are times where, man, I know better, but I don't do better. And yet, there's a part of me on the inside that's like, Lord, please have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And, and I'm glad that I belong to Christ. I'm glad that... I'm glad that um, He keeps me. I'm glad that my words are not more powerful than His. I'm glad that what I may think or what I may say can't trump God's word over my life. I'm so glad that I'm not that powerful. Because I probably would have been gone a long time ago. But I'm glad. I'm so glad that I belong to this amazing, good, he's a good God, you guys. He's a good God. He's good. In all of his ways, he's good. And I may not know all his ways yet, but I will. Because that's my heart's desire. And, and God said that he will give us the desires of our heart. According to his will. So I know that knowing him, he wants me to know him. And I know I will know him. I will know every part of him. And I want the same for you. I want you to know who your creator is. Who formed you in your mother's womb. I want you to know that. I want you to know it. Because literally, it's his love that will get you through this life. It is his love that will keep you until eternity. Forever and ever with him. You know. Man, it will keep you with him for eternity. Because the sad part about it is. Not choosing him is probably the worst mistake you could probably make. And I'll be honest. I, and I The reason why I say it's the worst mistake is not because you're going to go to hell. That's bad too. But because I know him now, I can't imagine not knowing him. I can't imagine not being away from him. I can't imagine not having the opportunity to spend the rest of my life getting to know him. Because he's just been that good. I mean, there, I mean, there's just so many things that I want to ask him. There's so many things that I just want to experience. There's so many things that, you know, just just fascinate me about him. I just want to know him. And I think that's one of the worst mistakes anybody can make is to reject God. Because then you, then you don't get the privilege to get to know the best thing that can ever happen to you. The most beautiful. I mean, he's just beautiful. And he's just, he's, he's just magnificent. He's beautiful. He's just a beautiful person. Oh my gosh. He's just, I mean, he, I, I can't like, I can't describe him, you know, but he's so, he's just, he's amazing. He really is. And I want you guys to feel the same way. Cause literally, I don't care what may take the place, you know, or what you may look at or have your affections to man god beats that he trumps it every time he does and if you're out there and you do believe in christ and yet you are struggling let me just give you some hope i don't care what may have your affections because you believe god will keep you so don't be hard on yourself because right now you are idolizing this person or you may have this particular thing that has taken your focus off of God 
The goodness of God is that he keeps everyone that belongs to him. Regardless of what they do. That's the hope that that's the hope that we live for. And I want to also encourage you this. He's someone that can deliver you on this earth too. You don't have to wait. You know? It's all according to his will and his purpose. But but I want you to stand on this. Trust that because you know who Christ, because you believe that he died for you. What happens on this earth is like obsolete to what we're going to inherit in eternity. You know, it's 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 this is nothing compared to like what we're going to reap because of our belief. Yo, what the, the, the things that God is going to give you in eternity. Because just be, just just because you believed it. Just be, you didn't you didn't you didn't work to earn it. You didn't do anything special. God's just going to say abundance. Just because you believed. Uh, hello. How many people on this earth do that? Uh, not too many people I know. That literally will give you something for free. Literally for nothing. You didn't have to earn it. It's a gift. Here, just take it. You ain't got to earn it. You ain't got to do nothing for it. Here, just take it. Just believe in me. That's it. Like, I mean, man, we belong to a great God, y'all. But I could talk all day about him. So I just wanted to just say that. And I hope that that encourages somebody out there. Don't give up. You know, stay encouraged. Keep the faith. God has you. Jesus loves you. And um, y'all have a good evening.